Hello guys. Today's presentation is about how to achieve your goals. And goals help us keep moving forward and keep us fresh as persons. And although goals are important, before continuing, I want you to remember one thing. You are not your goals, you are not your success, and you are not your achievements. Your self-worth goes beyond that, and you are much more important than that. Having said that, we go on to the three points of how to achieve your goals. First, we start by believing, then planning, then executing. The first point is believing. Why is this point so important? If you believe you can, then you can achieve your goals. It's important for you to believe. If you don't believe, it will be very hard for you to achieve anything. If you don't believe, it doesn't matter how many people around you believe in you or not. That will have little or no effect on you achieving. But when you believe, you open the doors to go through your goals and grasp them, savor them, and achieve. So this point of achieving goes hand in hand with believing. Once you have believed, then we can go on to continue and you can start on thinking how and what things you can do in order to achieve these goals. Once you believe, you can start planning. And planning is important because we are limited by this scarce resource of time. If you don't plan, you will more than likely be thinking, oh, I didn't have time enough to do this or that. And your time just will run amok. So planning is of utmost importance in order for you to achieve. When you plan, there are four things you can do in this, in this part. First, you should write your goals down. What do you want to achieve? Then, you can write down how and what things you want to do to achieve these goals. You should write them as specifically as you can. Third, you should write a time schedule depicting hour by hour the things you need to do in order to achieve these things. And then, you will have two things in this section. The core priorities, which will be the things you will specifically do to achieve those goals, and the non-core priorities, which are all the other things you still need to do on your daily basis and that are not related to your goals. And in order for this planning to have an effect and be effective, you need to assess your progress from time to time. And you need to be accountable for your plan. <coughs> in this, you can have somebody else check your progress or you can mark it out by yourself whenever you accomplish your daily schedule and you need to be as true as you can when doing this plan. As a student athlete at a high school level and at a university level after, I found myself trying to cope with these two demands, training as an Olympic athlete and studying for a master's degree program. These things I needed to accomplish well in the track and I needed to get good grades in order to be a good scholar and be in a good standing at the university. Many times you will find yourself chasing after one or more goals or sometimes you will find yourself trying to achieve more than one thing at a time. It's at this moment where you will find time management useful for you. Once you have planned, the moment for executing will come to you. The moment to make things real and make these goals true. So in executing, all this planning will come in place. No matter what your goals are, may it be go to the Olympics, may it be 
make your own business to help the ones in need, excelling at an exam, or maybe something greater. If you have done up and planned accordingly, then executing will come natural to you. So when you execute, you should be able to remember and take all this planning you have done to make things happen. Once you do this, executing will come as a second nature to you. Just a, like one of your five senses. Just that natural. And when you come to execute and the time comes for you to do the things you have been preparing for, we come back again to the first point, which was start by believing. Why do you have to start by believing? And why do we come back to this point again? Because it's when you believe, your attitude changes. Then your behavior changes as well. And it's these two things that will give you the strength, the willingness, and the perseverance you need to overcome those difficulties you will find through your journey. And the beautiful thing about becoming the very best you can is to enjoy the process. Because when you achieve your goals, it will be such a waste if you didn't enjoy the ride. Some people think and argue if it's about the journey or the end. I tell you it's about both. It's about the end because the end keeps you hoping to endure. And the journey is there when you can smile day by day. And it's your responsibility to enjoy. Because nobody else can do that for you but you. So now it's the time for you to start believing. Thank you.